happy day, I'm good. And today we're gonna look at some things that make me kind of uncomfortable, that make me kind of feel weird, make me kind of itchy and smelly, actually not smelly, but you know, just uncomfortable, all right? This is just the worst thing I've ever seen and somebody needs to go to jail for this. Like, what is going on here? What is going on? What are these two doing? What is this? Oh, like, is this an eel? That looks like a creature. It looks like these three all made this decision. It looks like everybody here is like, you know what, you know what we're gonna do? This Sunday, 2 p.m., this is what we're doing. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Why? Ah. Terry, have you seen this before? Can you tell me what it is? Maybe I, I need to I need to know what this is like I need education because this is just the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life And I I just can't like I'm so uncomfortable like I need bleach I think It's two fish fighting over a oh, it doesn't look like they're fighting It looks like they're having fun with it. Like it looks like they're actually passing it back and forth. Yeah, they're passing it back and forth They're like hey, you want some, you want the, the eel? <laughs> I think it cleaned they stomach <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think if anybody ate an eel of that size, it would definitely clean their stomach. Yeah, I just, I can't. <laughs> I just, like, jail, FBI, I, I don't know. Here this it egg is. makes me uncomfortable. It's been a day, I think. I have not even looked at it. But I don't think it worked. Ew. Ew. Oh. Ew. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna wash it off. Okay, well, I washed it out. Out, off, and this is what it looks like. This Whoa, that looks like- This is where it did not, was not submerged. Okay, that looks really cool. It looks like a rare gem of sorts, a rare, rare, uh, like a jade, or, but you know, jade's green. You know, the yellow jade, <laughs> the yellow version of jade, it just looks cool. But let's test its, its durability. <gasps> um... Okay. Okay, so I'm I'm going to have to echo what the comment said, and I think that that was the most perfect what? noise. Everything about this made me nervous. The fact that you submerged an egg in vinegar, that the egg probably stinks, that it turned a weird color, that it almost looked translucent, and that you decided to drop it on your countertop. But then it was the perfect what? that made it kind of all worth it. Well. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, girl. I- I don't know, girl. Now what makes you more uncomfortable than using the bathroom after your dad? Do you want me to describe it to you? Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually taught a very good hack to that if you don't have the poopery on hand. Something that you can do, which like, don't think about it too much, okay? Just don't think about it. You go in the bathroom. You can't go in there because it's horrible. Light a match, hold your breath, light a match, and then put the match out, and then just let the put out match like kind of go where it needs to go and then turn on the faucet and either wet the match or dip it in the toilet so it doesn't set your garbage on fire. And then for some reason, that masks the smell so, so well that I think it's a really good hack. I mean, obviously like people who do this are gonna know what you did and what you're hiding, but it's so much better than, um, you know, so much better than the alternative. Have you ever been on chiropractor TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> And this is the same guy afterwards. <laughs> it's actually not the same guy afterwards, but like that, that, like, how is that not so painful? One of my biggest fears in life is dislocating my arm because like just the whole idea of popping it back in seems so excruciatingly painful and I just really don't want to go through it. He wants her bad. So this guy's copying it in hopes to get the same results. <laughs> what would you pound the counter in the bathroom over, hmm? I don't know what I'd do it over and I, I highly doubt whatever it was would come to me and be like, on my shoulders. It's a secret hey, handshake. Saying, yeah, you too, dude. Take it easy. You too. Nice. <laughs> Why does he do that? Why does he look backwards and go forward? You too, dude. Take it easy. You too. How did this escalate so quickly? <laughs> what? It's so weird. I'm uncomfortable, but I actually really enjoyed that. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what it sounds like when your soul leaves your body. She gone. Oh, she's breathing. Like, that scream and that echo. The drama. 
That I, I just, I don't know. It's such a good scream. Like, that's 100% the scream that you scream when you're doing something like this. What is this, a bungee jump? Like, I don't understand how people have the cojones to do this. I could never. Ugh. I went on like a 60 foot zip line once and that was like too much for me. Like I cried for like two hours before jumping. It was the most embarrassing thing ever. I was in the sixth grade. I don't want to go through that again. And with this, I would cry for five hours before jumping. Someone would have to push me. Okay, so this is like the meme. You pour water on your toy and then it becomes real. So this guy pours water on his girlfriend's butt. Like Stop. what? Stop, it's not funny. It's not! This, okay, this prank, it just made me uncomfortable. It really did. I could feel <clears throat> the clench that she went through when suddenly there was this cold water on her back. Ooh, poor thing. I mean, there are a couple and like he did post this, so hopefully, um, hopefully they laughing about this. I think my boyfriend's little brother is an alien. He's a little too good at that. I'm a little uncomfortable. He's a little too good at that. It sounds like he's actually communicating with them. I, I can't. Try it, try it. I can't. That kid's good. When fans get a little too comfortable, part 12. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I know where this is going. I've been dreaming for this moment for so long. Okay, I just don't even, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know the way that boy's face changed when she hugged him. I don't know about that. That makes me uncomfortable, obviously. My name's Donnie. He seems really sweet though. Like he really does seem like a super fan and maybe he, maybe he just reacted that way because you're being held by your hero. I hope. Three signs on your secret Santa. Number one, if you see me at Victoria's Secret, I'm not a perv, I promise. Where are you taking me? Why are you taking <laughs> Number two, if your cookies are missing, sorry, not sorry. Number three, if I kiss and tell. There's something so genius about this guy, and I don't know what it is. I gotta be honest with you, I've seen this TikTok a lot of times, because there's something about the, where are you taking me? Where are you taking me? I think there's something about it that I find very funny, even though it makes me uncomfortable. So I had to throw that one in there. Well, Uzi, there, there's something about you. There's something about your comedy that I find funny. This is the 500 nail polish layer. That, why would you do it? Why would you do it? It just doesn't make any sense to, like, what a waste. It looks like a sedimentary rock. This looks like the Grand Canyon of nail polish. It seems like such a weird way to spend your time. How many hours? Was this person here? That's the real question. That's what I want to know. Like, I feel like this is kind of, especially this bottom part, this person had to have been here for 10 years. This is impossible. I just, I don't know. The, the amount of time, the amount of layers, the fact that like, like, how do you remove this? Just like dip your whole hand in acetone and then hope it like falls off. And, ah! I just, I can't. Okay, so this made me really uncomfortable. When they want dirty photos, but you're at work. She's getting the hair down. She is feeling flavorful tonight. Ah, oh my gosh. Happy Nurses Week indeed. For legal reasons, this is a joke. Yeah, okay, I mean. Let me show you the one that made me the most uncomfortable. This one was okay. This one was okay. This one was okay. That, that was all right. Th like, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. We're just skeletons and I don't like to think about that. Look at the size of that dust devil. Like, is that just a tornado? How is it a perfectly gorgeous day outside with a dust devil of this size? And can dust devils hurt people? Like this definitely looks like you could get hurt. It looks like there's some big debris in there. So essentially I wanted to show you guys this TikTok of one of these kind of, but like at a school. I would be so scared. Like that's so scary. I've only ever seen tornadoes in this context, like where it's really dark and there's a lot of sad darkness going on. I've never seen it with like a blue sky. Guy. There's just something so unsettling about it. When we work night security 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. and we see something coming at us at midnight. Wait. Really? Girl, that's a ghost. It's see-through. <laughs> Wait, you're night security but you get to sit in your car with your friend? 
Lucky. I mean, at least you're in the car with your friend when the ghost comes through. Like, that's a ghost. If you've ever played Phasmophobia before, I didn't realize that smudge- Like, people are like, this guy's smudging the house. Like, the smudge sticks that you light in Phasmophobia and you, like, throw them in the room to, like, cleanse the area. This guy is, like, lighting a smudge. He's, like, taking it in his basement because his basement is not cute. But I had to replay Zoom, then I saw its face. I'm not like, afraid, what man. is this? Oh my god! Yo! That's fake. That's fake. Fake! Better be fake, otherwise I have to say every prayer I know. Come on out, man. <laughs> <sighs> I'd be saying every prayer I know. He could be behind that thing or that thing or that thing though. I just don't know. Wait, this was the video. This is a video paused. Oh my, Dino Nuggets, maybe you should move. I don't know. I just feel like it's so easy to like edit stuff like this that I never trust it when I see it, but I just love the, I love the adrenaline of being scared. This just made me uncomfortable because like, imagine sharing a bed with this guy. Imagine how much this guy eats a day. Like imagine the food bill. Imagine he accidentally steps on your foot while he's running, chasing something. Imagine that you have to travel and you gotta find a way to bring this guy with you. I just, there's a lot of work around a 300 pound Tibetan Mastiff. He's cute. That's not a dog though, that's a bear. This is the worst TikTok of all time. By far, this is the worst TikTok I've ever seen in my life. Ha! How are you touching that? Why are you touching that? It's on your thumb. There's one on your thumb. I'm going to die. <laughs> We're not watching that more than once. No, we are not. That is the worst. I, I just, it just reminds me of the time when I was a kid and I found this little sack and I thought it was going to be like a sack of caterpillars and it was spiders. <sighs> My origin story features one of these and it's not good. Here's another insects where they shouldn't belong. I got a call to remove bees from one of the weirdest places ever, this toilet. This- all this delicious honey in this disgusting toilet! I mean, apparently honey is an antibacterial, so maybe it like helped clean the toilet? I hope so. These poor bees. These bees deserve a much better home than that. I spent a lot of time carefully removing each piece, comb by comb. This was a happy, healthy colony! That's good, and they weren't stinging her. <laughs> the toilet was still full of bees, which told me the queen was in there. Suddenly, I saw the queen. <gasps> How do the queens get so much bigger? Bees are so interesting. Like I I've seen like videos of like, I think it was like bees or wasps like fighting to be the queen. It's like when they choose the queen, like the Pokemon evolves into like a, a bigger, up, more awesome. I don't know. I don't have the credentials to be speaking about bees. Watching a video at too high and this computer is about to explode or it's about to take off. My computer used to overheat really badly and like whenever it would sound, it never sounded anything like that, but whenever it would sound like brrrr, like it just gave me so much anxiety like it was gonna blow it's very disquieting i tried this on my sister's boyfriend what <laughs> whose sound is this so good i don't think it's a good idea <laughs> do you need money <laughs> How much do you need? <laughs> Check Venmo. He actually sent your money spare change! <laughs> oh my god. That's a significant other that a sibling can really set their watch to. Like that, that is hilarious. This is the relationship that you want to have with your sibling's significant other. Bro, she won't get out of my hair. Oh. Look, look at her go. Bro, no, come back. This snake is becoming one with Come the on. hair. Go back, go back, no, stop! It reminds the snake of where it came from. Yeah, the snake is like, yes, this this, look, this look is the go. ecosystem that Bro. I grew up with. No, This is the back. ecosystem of my ancestors. Welcome back to the jungle, it's been a while. This is a reminder to always oh put your car in park. Oh, oh my, my. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That thing was going so fast. Oh what do you do? God. What do you do? All I can think of is the bills, and the bills, and the bills, and the bills. Oh my goodness. And like, there's really no one to blame here but yourself. That's the hardest part. I tried to fart quietly into a stranger's window while on a walk? Why? Is this absolutely necessary? The poor cat's looking at you, you can't.
Robert Crappinson is your name? Fart jokes mostly don't overthink it. This guy like farts in a stranger's window. Because of social media, are they gonna have to make a law where like farting in people's windows is against the law? It's the final brain cell. Be -be -be -be. This just made me uncomfortable because, oh my goodness. Nature looks so majestic when we're looking at it from the perspective that we were meant to look at it. This isn't where we belong. This poor guy, he doesn't deserve this. He doesn't deserve this to be on social media. It's scientifically proven that your brain won't let you stub your own toe. See? What do you mean it's scientifically proven that your brain won't let you stub your own toe? What does that even mean? Uh, of course he can stub his own toe like this. Oh my goodness, oh my- Well, I mean, hey, you only went halfway kicking that vent because the vent is like the loudest thing you could kick, but if you kicked a corner, if you kicked a corner, then I would believe that you defied science. That's not a dare. Kicking corners is the worst thing that can possibly happen to you. Well, guys, that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please check out the creators that I featured in this video, and if you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!